Defragmenting a hard drive or portable media player absolutely necessary. I've done it a few times on various PCs running various versions of Windows, and it doesn't seem to do very much. Also, is it true that defragmenting OS X isn't necessary? Thanks. Are we going to get into another knockdown, dragdown fight over this? We had a fight about it? Did we? I thought we did. That was probably another host. It might have been Roger, actually. <laughs> yeah, I am a huge believer in defragmenting Windows boxes. I agree with you, so it definitely wasn't me. Okay. I always defragment yeah. when I have a Windows box. A lot of people maintain that OS X's HFS Plus file system is so perfect and so brilliant and so magnificently organized, defragmenting will not only not help performance, but could possibly kill you and everyone in your family. <laughs> and all your loved ones. I don't think that's true, exactly. Right, the killing part. Yeah, but. they don't even have a a real defragmenter built into OS 10. I mean, you can repair permissions and right. you know clean up your disks a little bit, but it's not not really exactly the same. Yeah, there are third-party tools out there that will perform file defrags, but basically the the, the the general consensus by a lot of people, and I can smell the email burning in the TechSolar at revision3.com right now. But the general consensus is that no, you don't really need to bother with OS 10. And if you you know if you want to experiment with it, you can go buy a tool to do that. I like Cocktail. I think is it called Cocktail? It's a, I haven't used it in a few years. But it used to be one of my favorite like disk management cleanup tools for OS X. Yeah. So I, th I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. We'll put it in the show notes and you can take a look. I don't believe it was free. I think it was free to a point and then mm -hmm. afterwards you had to pay a little bit. Yeah, but there's a lot of good tools out there, you know. For Windows though, definitely disk defragmenter is probably still my favorite. There's a couple mm -hmm. open source tools. We'll link those if they're still available in the show notes. But definitely, 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 I would, I have noticed serious performance improvements on Windows boxes, especially if anything more than 10 or 12% fragmentation, uh, defragging can do wonders for how it feels boot up time, file opening time, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it can't players, hurt, really. I, I, I've heard some people say they have created problems with really? portable media players by oh, okay. defragmenting the hard drive like in an iPod or I've something. I've never tried to do that before, so I can't yeah. speak to using it on portable media devices, but for your, your typical Windows box, it should be fine. So Yeah, so Windows, defrag, OS X, eh, if you really you are into like that. It? Portable drives, probably avoid it. Okay.